Now let's look at one another type of bond that is polar and non-polar bond, how they are different and what makes each of them unique. Polar and non-polar bonds. Let us discuss the last bond parameter, polarity of bonds. When a covalent bond is formed between two similar atoms, the shared pair of electrons is equally attracted by the two atoms and is placed exactly in between identical nuclei. Such a bond is called non-polar covalent bond. Molecules having two oppositely charged poles are called polar molecules and the bond is said to be polar covalent bond. Greater the difference in the electronegativity of the atoms forming the bond, greater will be the charge separation and hence greater will be the polarity of the molecule. Dipole moment is defined as the product of the magnitude of the charge and the distance of separation between the charges. Dipole moments of few molecules have been given in the table. The unit of dipole moment is Coulomb meter. When two oppositely charged ions A plus and B minus are brought together, the positive ion attracts the outermost electrons of the negative ion. This results in distortion of electron clouds around the anion towards the cation. This distortion of electron cloud of the negative ion by the positive ion is called polarization. Tendency of cation to polarize and polarizability of an ion are summarized as Fajan's rules. Smaller the size of the cation, greater is its polarizing power. Polarization increases with increase in size of an ion. This is because the electron cloud on the bigger an ion will be held less firmly by its nucleus and therefore would be more easily deformed towards the cation. Larger the charge on cation, greater is polarizing power and larger the charge on anion, greater is its tendency to get polarized. The topic that we are going to study today is VSPR theory, valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. VSEPR theory. Since Lewis symbols were unable to explain shapes of certain molecules, VSEPR, valence shell electron pair repulsion, theory was introduced. The basic idea of this theory is that bonded atoms in a molecule adopt that particular arrangement in space around the central atom which keeps them on the average as far apart as possible. The main postulates of VSEPR theory are as follows. The shape of a molecule depends upon the number of valence shell electron pairs bonded or non-bonded around the central atom. Pairs of electrons in the valence shell repel one another since their electron clouds are negatively charged. These pairs of electrons tend to occupy such positions in space that minimize repulsion and thus maximize distance between them. The valence shell is taken as a sphere with the electron pairs localizing on the spherical surface at maximum distance from one another. The repulsive interaction of electron pairs decreases in the given order. The shape of molecule and also the approximate bond angles can be predicted from the number and type of electron pairs in the valence shell of central atom as tabulated on the screen. In the following table, the molecule is represented by AXE notation where A is central atom, X is ligand, atom bonded to the central atom either by a single bond or by multiple bond indicating a bond pair E is lone pair. The sum of number of ligands atoms X and number of lone pairs E is also known as steric number. The bond pairs are shown as green colored thick lines whereas the lone pairs are shown as point charges using green colored lobes. The VSEPR theory gives the geometry of simple molecules but theoretically it does not explain them and also has limited applications. To overcome these limitations, two important theories based on quantum mechanical principles are commonly used. These are valence bond VB theory and molecular orbit. The next theory that we'll be studying is about valence bond theory. 
valence bond theory. Valence bond theory was introduced by Hitler and London 1927 and developed further by Pauling and others. The main postulates of this theory are as follows. A covalent bond is formed by the overlapping of two half-filled valence atomic orbitals of two different atoms. The electrons in overlapping orbitals get paired and confined between the nuclei of two atoms. The electron density between two bonded atoms increases due to overlapping. This confers stability to the molecule. Greater the extent of overlapping, stronger is the bond formed. The direction of the covalent bond is along the region of overlapping of the atomic orbitals, that is covalent bond is directional. There are two types of covalent bonds based on the pattern of overlapping. These are sigma bond and pi bond. The covalent bond formed due to overlapping of atomic orbital along the internucleus axis is called sigma bond. It is a stronger bond and cylindrically symmetrical. The covalent bond formed by sidewise overlapping of atomic orbitals is called pi bond. In this bond, the electron density is present above and below internuclear axis. It is relatively a weaker bond since the electrons are not strongly attracted by the nuclei of bonding atoms and the extent of overlapping occurs to a smaller extent. For example, it could not explain the structures and bond angles of H2O, NH3, etc. However, in order to explain the structures and bond angles of molecules, Linus Pauling modified the valence bond theory using hybridization concept. We have looked at different kinds of bond theories which will help us in understanding the next, our next topic that is hybridization. Hybridization. In order to explain characteristic geometrical shapes of polyatomic molecules, concept of hybridization is used. The process of intermixing of the orbitals of slightly different energies so as to redistribute their energies resulting in the formation of new set of orbitals of equivalent energies and shape is called hybridization. Based on the type and number of orbitals, the hybridization can be subdivided into five main types. We have learned about hybridization. Now let's look at types of hybridization. MO theory. Molecular orbital theory was developed by F. Hund and R. S. Mulliken in 1932. Basic idea of MO theory is that atomic orbitals of individual atoms combine to form molecular orbitals. Electrons in molecule are present in the molecular orbitals which are associated with several nuclei. The atomic orbitals of comparable energies in proper symmetry combine to form molecular orbitals. The number of molecular orbitals formed is equal to the number of combining atomic orbitals. When two atomic orbitals combine, two molecular orbitals are formed. One is known as bonding molecular orbital while the other is called anti-bonding molecular orbital. The bonding molecular orbital has lower energy and hence greater stability than the corresponding anti-bonding molecular orbital.